Richo, you've brought the challenge. I'm very excited to show you my mum's lamb biryani. I'm starting with high pressure steaks because my mum and my grandma are watching at home. But I'm ready to do this. I've just waved to them. My grandma's a big fan of Richo, so this is a bit of a coup in our house. I'll send her a kiss. Yeah, there lovely. You there you go, Baranani, that's for you. We're going to start with some extra virgin olive oil into the pot. Now, you could use ghee. So the purists might use ghee, but I'm just doing a little healthy alternative here. Would, would your mother and your grandmother use ghee? My grandmother might. My mum is a bit like me. Where okay. can we take the healthy option? And that's gotcha. what I'm going to bring for you guys in the kitchen. OK. Look at these beautiful spices. Now, I would call these the hard spices okay. because they're actually quite firm. But cinnamon sticks go in, or quills. Do you call okay. them sticks or quills? Sticks or quills, whatever you want to call them. Whatever they work, you both like. Work with me. Cardamom pods and cloves. And yes, you're going to hit them in the biryani, but it's a journey and it's part of it. Cumin seeds, integral to any Indian dish. Richo, nice. hot tip, I'm going to use a lot of them on this journey that we go on together. I love spices, so you're in very safe hands. Oh, good. And this is one of my absolute favourites, star anise. Yes. Who doesn't love this? If I could hang them over my bed, I would, because they're glorious. Is yeah, that a bit weird? It would stop the vampires from coming and getting you. It would. And go. the garlic. Mustard seeds go Gosh. in. So that's our hard spices. All I'm going to do, Richard, is just brown them off slightly in the olive oil. So you haven't got it up high. You've just got it at a gentle heat just to do it nice and slowly. Could you chuck the onion in for me? Oh, so that's where our sweetness comes in. Love that. Can you wash the rice I for me, can. please? I can, OK. So I'm going to use a really good quality basmati rice for this. Basmati rice is like, again, pure gold for Indians. Basically, everything here is pure gold. But good basmati rice. Mm. I feel like rice has been slightly demonised. People think it's not good for you, but actually, Something like basmati is low GI, so it doesn't cause your sugars to spike too quickly. Really good for diabetics if you're trying to aim for good, regular sugar control. You know, rice is, if you're going to eat it, this is a really, really good one. And this one's been aged for a year. Now, you always wash the rice, and I can see why. You can see when I do it around like this, it gets all the uh, all the starch off the outside of it. Yes. And it becomes nice and clean. Yes, absolutely. It's a thing for us to just wash rice to get the impurities off. Yep. So, Richard, I've thrown some ginger and garlic in here. And I also throw in some turmeric, which is good for you, and garam masala. And here goes the pure gold, the curry leaves. You don't want to put the stalk in, you just want those beautiful little leaves. And all I'm going to do, Richo, is just let that all kind of go together. OK, lamb goes into the pot, Richo. So I've got some beautiful lean lamb. Lamb's a beautiful source of iron. And then all I'm going to do is coat that lamb in the spices. You want to get the onion and all the spices mixed together. And guess what? I'm going to put a lid on that and let it gently simmer for about 10 minutes so the lamb just slightly cooks through. So we just sit there and watch it? Yeah, that's okay. right. Awesome. And bond, Richo. We'll bond over a pot of biryani. <laughs> Richo, have a look at this. Oh. What do you think? That looks so good. I would just grab a fork and eat it like this. So that's nice and tender now. And this is when the basmati rice goes in. And what you want to do is coat that in all the beautiful spices that you've got in here. Now, here's a little sneaky trick of my family's Richo. We add some vegetta at this point. I like that. Adds a little bit of a flavour punch. And we're going to sprinkle a tiny bit in there. Look at that. About a tablespoon? Yeah, about that. Okay, gotcha. So you know, just to warn you, I'm slightly haphazard in my quantities and <laughs> so am I. neurotic in some and haphazard in others. You just throw it in and build it up and yeah, add flavour and, you know, things change as it goes along. If you think you need more, you just add it. Yes, correct. And as my mum says, you can always add more, but it's hard to take it out. So you go slow, lady. Like you that. go slow. Okay. Beautiful, Richo. Now this needs water and that's when I'm going to add in two and a half cups of water. Gotcha. Now, you need it to be absolutely drowned and you might start to panic at this point and go, it feels like too much, but don't forget that the rice soaks up all the water and we're going to pop this in the oven and you don't want a dry biryani. Otherwise, your mum would be knocking on the door. It would be a disaster. Not mum at the door, that's a blessing. Okay. But, um, love you, mum. <laughs> but, but the whole dry biryani business would be bad. Very good save, I like yeah, that. Good. Yeah, good. Could you throw the chilli in? I could. And then, Richo, you've got some sneaky, beautiful little veggies here. Pop the cauliflower in. So that is literally just blitzed cauliflower. Some people call it cauliflower rice. It's just blitzed cauliflower. So you could do more rice and forget that, but that's a way to sneak up the veggie content. Beautiful. Frozen peas. And it's a one-pot meal that cooks together and 
I'm looking forward to it. Lots of spice, lots yes. of flavour, lots of nutrition, lots of filler in there because the rice fills you up as well. Yes, it is It is a working mum's dinner. So, Richo, we allow this to simmer for about 10 minutes just to soften the rice slightly and then this whole pot goes in the oven for about 22 minutes and we're going to have an absolutely cracking dish on our hands. I can't wait for this one. Go, Richo. Open her up. Oh, oh. Look at that. The spices, it hits you, doesn't it? The, the star anise, the cinnamon. Yep. Boom. Oh. Now, let's dish this up. Now, the spices will sit on the top and that's beautiful. That's the flavour hit. And you want to get in there and it should be slightly moist. Look at that, Richo. Oh. Holy moly. You can see the cardamom pods, the star anise, I know. And all their glory. You didn't let me put the coriander on, that's no, okay. I'm just going to get straight I into it. I too excited. You can garnish it up, but I just want to get straight in there, have a little taste of that. Mm. Tell me what you think. That is outstanding. I, I know that I'm in a lot of trouble here because that is a cracker of a dish. Lots of flavour, the rice is cooked beautifully, the lamb is nice and tender. And I just love the way the rice tastes like lamb. This is a cracker. If you bring this to the table every single day... It's a lot of pressure. I'll have oh, to talk to on Mum. On history, yeah. I'll tell you this though, Richo, this is my style of cooking, so I try and keep it simple, one pot, sneak veggies in where you can, traditional recipe with a bit of a tweak. You've got a competition on your hands, my friend. I'm scared. 